Hey guys, this is video 2 in our series. This video is going to cover setting up a user on the FreeNAS in a shared folder that will serve as host storage for our Rancher OS Docker containers. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the legacy UI and expand account. Uh, expand groups. Let's click add group and we're going to create a new group 1020 for the group ID and for the group name we're going to call it share. Click OK. After that completes, we're going to go to Add User. We're going to make the user ID for this user 1020 as well, and the username Share also. Uncheck Create a new primary group for the user, and in the drop down, select Share. We're going to change the shell to Bash, and for the full name, we're going to put Share User. For the email, Share at freenas.local and for the password we'll make one up then we're going to go down and click OK and that user is now created next let's come up here and click on storage and we're going to find a volume where we want to create a new data set for our Docker host storage. And we're going to click Create Data Set. Give our data set a name. I'm going to call mine Shared. Um, I think everything else can be at default here. Everything looks fine. Click Add Data Set. And then we're going to click our new data set and we're going to go down here to change permissions and we're going to change that to the user we created so share for the user and group and click set permission recursively and hit change next we're going to go to services and make sure we have uh, NFS set to start on boot and have it running and we're going to go to the settings and these basically are going to be default um, you can enable an FSV4 if you want but you don't need to um, you can set your bind IP address if you want to if you have more than one IP address you can choose one I'm just going to leave that unchecked and if you made any changes you might want to stop and restart the NFS service next we're going to go to sharing and we're going to go to Unix shares, click Add Unix Share, and click Advanced Mode for the path. We're going to browse to the data set we created for authorized networks and authorized IP addresses or hosts. You can put the IP address that we created for our Rancher OS, but you don't have to. I'm going to select all directories in case you want to mount us directly to a subdirectory at some point, and created the share user for security purposes and the share group for security purposes as well right but I found that the host storage from Rancher doesn't work properly when you try to create containers as a normal user right because a lot of containers try to ch own the uh, folders they're creating on the store storage when you have a map volume uh, so it's not the best security practice, but it's the only way that I know of to get it to work. If I find anything better, I'll uh, update the description of the video. So for now, let's uh, change this to map root user root and map root group wheel. So with this type of setup, basically the deal is that you're going to have to trust any containers you run to be root on this file system, right? So if you have a container that is malicious and wants to delete your files, it can delete any of your files on this uh, data set. I'm not running any containers that are too scary, so I'm fine with that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our virtual machines and make sure that our Rancher uh, VM is running. You can connect to that if you want, but mainly we're going to go over SSH. So SSH to your Rancher machine again. And we're going to sudo su dash to 
become root, and we're going to cd to var lib rancher conf cloudconfig.d. And in that directory, we're actually going to pull a file down for mounting NFS. And I'll put that a link to that file in the description. And you're going to want to do wget and then the file link. And then we're going to want to buy that file and come down to the server line, hit I for insert, and then remove these four X's and put the IP address of our host, which would be the FreeNAS. And then shared path is the sh path of the volume, not the volume, but the uh, data set that you created and that we're sharing uh, over NFS. So in my case, mount SSD 750 shared was the data set name. And then we're going to hit escape. And then we're going to hit the colon character and WQ to save and hit enter. And then let's go ahead and reboot and see if that comes up mount mounted. And to test that, I'm going to go back to the FreeNAS and well, to start my virtual machine because I don't know if yours automatically starts, but mine doesn't. Um, well, it does when the machine starts up, but not when I restart it for some reason. I'm going to go to the shell and CD to the folder root we created. And I'm going to touch test.txt. And then we can go back to virtual machines after that and connect. Or we can SSH into our machine once it's started up, which we're not there yet. Should be there soon. I'm going to SSH in and sudo s oh sudo su and cd to mount nfs1 and ls and there is our test.txt ls-l right and to do a test let's see um 1001 test.txt that worked, right? So that means we're good to go. Um, and that's the problem. When we go with the secure method, we can't CHO in those files. And so the storage from our uh, FreeNAS host doesn't actually work right. We'll have containers that will fail to launch properly since they can't change the ownership of their directories. Next, let's go back to the old UI and go to services. And we're going to go down to SMB, click the settings. Um, so uh, most of these can stay at default, I think. You can set your bind IP addresses if you want to. I turn on zero conf share discovery. Local master, I set work group to work group. That might be default. I think FreeNAS and work group are default and so is the description. Let's just make sure all that's set pretty much uh, like I have these set here. Click OK. And if you made any changes, hit stop now and start the service again and make sure you have start on boot checked. We're going to go to sharing, go to Windows shares, add a Windows share. For the path, we're going to click our created shared data set. We're going to name that shared as well or whatever you want to call yours, of course. Uh, show hidden files, you can do that if you want, you don't have to. And if you want, you can lock down which host or networks you want to allow or deny. I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then hit OK. Ooh, OK, so let's not do that. Apply default permissions. Because we don't want to mess with the NFS permissions on there. So let's just hit OK. Alright, and so we just set that up so in case you have like a media player or something that you want to connect via SMB and uh, pull videos off that to play that you download via transmission or Plex or something other than using Plex to watch those videos.
Okay, and so that's all for this video. In our next video, video three, we're going to cover setting up Portainer to manage your Docker containers and storing its settings on your FreeNAS host's NFS share. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.